Welcome to the final week of Terminator Month, and I have saved the worst for last. Today we take a look at the absolute horror that is Terminator Salvation. Let me describe this movie in one sentence. The, the fuck are you doing? Thank you, Mr. Bale. You will say that all throughout this movie, and let me explain why. Since 1984, we the audience have wanted to see John Connor lead the human resistance against Skynet. And more importantly, to see it made into a badass war movie. And from all the ads, the trailers, and such, that's what this movie looked like it was finally going to deliver on. This is John Connor. If you're listening to this, you are the resistance. What the fuck are you doing? Except, no. Wrong. Fail. If Terminator Salvation were a TV series, more than half of this movie would be the filler episodes. Now there are three. Major problems hanging around the neck of this movie. Problem number one. John Connor is not the main character. What the fuck are you doing? Now you may say why is that such a big deal? Because the entire series has been based around John Connor. So to just substitute him out for another character just seems amazingly stupid. And the reason that they did this, the reason that they decided to focus on another character, Marcus Wright, is because of one particular thing that has to do with the ending of the film. You see, the original ending cut saw Marcus Wright actually take John Connor's place. John Connor would die in the finale, and they would take his face and place it onto Marcus Wright, making him John Connor. Is that not the dumbest idea you've ever heard? Could you imagine the fan backlash that would have happened had that proposed ending gone through? Not again. <laughs> What the fuck are you doing? If they decided to keep it as face off Terminator edition? I'd like to take his his face off. Okay, getting back on point, the plot of this movie is essentially the origin story of the Arnold Terminator. Not a huge battle with Skynet, nothing like that. It's basically just revealing the origins of where that model Terminator came from. You feel like you're watching a pointless adventure as it does nothing to further the war with humanity, does nothing to further Skynet's cause. It's really just... filler. You're watching what is essentially a rescue mission. It's like watching Reign of Fire 2, The Machines. It has very little to do with a Terminator movie other than a few bits of fan service. Otherwise, it could be any other post-apocalyptic sci-fi movie. See, getting back to what I was saying earlier with the problems of the film, that was problem number one. Problem number two, John Connor does not lead the Resistance. What the fuck are you doing? Yeah, we wanted to watch John Connor get dicked out by a general somewhere on a fucking submarine. Fuck a doodle do. In fact, we spend the entire movie waiting for John to finally take over the Resistance, and that moment just never happens. In fact, they had the perfect reasoning to follow a new soldier. If John Connor were the leader, it would make better sense to follow things from a grunt's perspective, as the leader of the Resistance isn't going to be in the down and dirty fighting. You could have had this Marcus fella take that role. Which begs the question, why the fuck didn't they do that? Okay, final major problem. They give Skynet a persona, which in and of itself is not a bad thing. It's a good idea to give your main villains a face so that the hero has something to face off with. The problem is, who the face is? Now I know what you're thinking. 
Is it Arnold? Maybe a nice nod to continuity? Maybe the creator of Skynet, younger form, was what the Terminator was? Nope. James Cameron. Nice nod to the creator of Terminator. Nope. Maybe one of the other Terminators, sort of a good fan service nod to continuity. Maybe a past John Connor. Fucking nope. Instead, it is a woman we met literally at the beginning of this movie. In the war. And they were right. It will end this war. Except that it is the resistance that will be terminated. Not Skynet. The, the fuck are you doing? And in fact, this human version of Skynet interacts with John Connor exactly zero fucking times. This is literally an enemy for Marcus Wright. This is wrong. Is it be like making a Superman movie and having Jimmy Olsen be the main character? No one gives a shit about Jimmy. We want to know what's going on with Superman. It's the same thing here. No one cares about this new guy, Marcus Wright. We want to focus John Connor. Now the movie has a twist in it involving Marcus, which would have been really, really good, except for the fact that they give it away in the fucking trailer. And that is that Marcus Wright is a half-man, half-Terminator. Similar in design to what Arnold Schwarzenegger's Terminator would be, but not quite perfected. For some reason in this movie, Marcus Wright's character still believes himself to be human. He does not realize he's a Terminator. Now this revelation does lead to one of the best lines in the movie by John Connor. We've been at war since before either of us even existed. You tried killing my mother, Sarah Connor. You killed my father, Kyle Reese. You will not kill me. Of course, it kind of ruins that line when he's giving it to a guy who literally just found out he's a Terminator and has only been trying to save his friend the entire film. Wouldn't that have been an awesome line for John to have given in a Skynet base just before pulling the fucking plug? But despite what I've said this whole time, the movie is not all bad. In fact, the acting is some of the best we've seen in the series. You can tell these people actually gave a fuck and did everything they could to bring the script to life. And the CG is really well done. Even the most out there things you see in the movie look believable. In fact, the only thing that holds this thing back is the writing. This piss poor story. It just hangs around the neck of what otherwise is a technical marvel. And the sad thing is, despite all my complaining, there's still more to bitch about. Like Katrin Brewster from the last film, who's now relegated to basically being a medic. She was supposed to be number two in the armies against Skynet. Now she's not even number two in John's little grunt squad. You know what? Fuck it. I'm done. Terminator Month is over. This is the movie that killed the franchise. This is the reason that Terminator Genesis is coming out next year. This movie earns a 1.5 out of 5. If not for the stellar, stellar acting, this would get far less. And in fact, after reading some of the behind the scenes drama, it's no wonder Bale famously lost his shit. If you were dealing with this kind of drama on a daily basis, you'd probably snap on somebody too. It's just nobody would give a shit enough to put it on YouTube. Apparently the writer destroyed this franchise and took what could have been an excellent, epic, human versus machine war movie and turned it into a Michael Bay style piece of shit. The, the fuck are you doing?